you in a while. Any specific thoughts on Gematria and its origins? Okay. I don't really have a lot of thoughts on Gematria. I have studied it. As a matter of fact, I, I read and I studied Michael Drosnan's The Bible Code. I'm pretty sure the very fact that you mentioned Gematria, uh, you should know about Michael Drosnan and the book The, um, the Bible Code. Uh, it's just, it's hard for me to wrap my head around the, if you were to take the scrolls in Hebrew, in Hebrew that they did, and yes, you're going to find all kinds of things, but I'm a simulationist. I 100% believe that we are living within a combat ass computer simulated, a, a simulated holography that is so advanced that these anomalies that we find like Gematria, of course, we're going to find, uh, Gematria in, uh, in everything, because everything is mathematical code. Isaiah chapter 45, 18, or 18, 18, 19, 18, I can't remember. But it's it's in my it's in one of my YouTube videos, and it's famous. It's in a hundred other YouTube videos and at least a thousand different books. There is a reference in the in the book of the prophet Isaiah about the Great Pyramid being a pillar of God in the land of Egypt at the border thereof. And we all know those who have, those who have done the research and looked into ancient Semitic le lexicons, you will find that the word border means is Giza, which is where the Great Pyramid stands. So, what's interesting is that the number of Hebrew Hebrew letters in that sentence is five thousand. 449. And anybody who has studied the, the rectilinear dimensions of the Great Pyramid will know that the Great Pyramid is 5,449 pyramid inches from the base all the way to the apex. So, geometry is real, but it's only real because we live within a coded environment. So, find, finding coding in everything like Michael Drosnan did comes as no surprise to me. It wouldn't come as a surprise. It can't. We live in a hologram. And in a hologram, we are mathematically connected to anything that we have experienced or done. Now,